it's often said that people of Utah speak a language all their own. It's a language that's often confusing and even incomprehensible to newcomers here in the Beehive State. So, Radio from Hell presents a handy guide to help everyone understand how the natives speak. It's the Utah Word of the Day, and today's word is... Well, two words today, actually. Hell, H-E-L-L, and well, W-E-L-L. Here to use these words in some dialogue is the mayor of Mona, Don Criddle, and his son, Denver. Denver's been listening to a local radio station, the voice of Mona, KVOM 1493 and a half on your AM dial, and he's heard some news about Mona that he wants his daddy, the mayor, to address. Again, the words are hell and well. Daddy, daddy, I know you don't listen to the morning show over to KVOM, so I wanted to tell you. You are darn right I don't listen to that trash. What is it, the morning jail? Well, with, uh, mm-hmm. It's the morning zoo, yeah. daddy, the morning zoo with... Captain Breakfast and Benny the Egg. Hey, <laughs> you know why they call him Benny the Egg? No. Because he's, he's kind of round-shaped, uh-huh. and his farts smell like eggs. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever it is, it sure ain't funny. Mm. Fart sounds and whistles are not what I want when I'm eating my breakfast, son. And then when they speak about me, the Maramona, their mayor, they're not respectful. They just don't respect the office. Oh, Daddy, they don't mean nothing by that. That's just the morning show fun, you know, wacky morning show hijinks. I don't find it fun when they call me Mayor Fiddle. And Mayor Fiddle and Mayor, Mayor Diddle, for gosh sakes. And Mayor Piddle. And, and it's just not funny at all. Just nasty. Particularly when you stop and think about the implications of the words piddle and diddle. I mean, I just don't care for it one little bit. Oh, okay, Daddy. But, you know, sometimes they take on some serious stuff, you mm. know, like community stuff that the people of Mona need to know. Like like this morning, they were talking about public ort projects and how Mona ought to have some public ort. Denver, if them two fort knockers are on that morning show... Uh, if they got you thinking about going around town and drawing some stuff on public buildings, think again. It's just vandalism. It's graffitiism. No, 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 nothing like that, Daddy. They was they was talking about a real ort project for the city, mm. like the one they got up to the Salt Lake in Sugar House. They got a roundabout up there, and there's like a big well coming out of it. A well? You, you, you mean like like a big fish? Mm-hmm. Like a humpback well? That's right, Daddy. Mm. And most people just love it. They say it makes them proud of their city. Mm. And some people almost even worship this well statue. They bow to it and, and salute it and say, All hail the well. At least that's what Captain Breakfast and Benny the Egg said. And so? They think we ought to have something like that here in Mona. And they ran what they call a zoo pole. So listeners could call in and say what kind of statue Mona should have. And so? They got two calls. Hmm. One said the statue should be of a carp, because that's the only fish that we got in the Mona Reservoir. The second call was from me, and I said we should have a giant statue of the world's most effective all-copper bullet. On account of we got the world-famous Barnes Bullet Factory here in Mona. We should have a statue of a giant copper bullet. And did them two boneheads say where the money would come from? Well, they said first thing was to talk to the city council and Mayor Diddle. Mayor Diddle, uh huh? Oh, come on, Daddy. It's just a morning show. They're just kidding. Join us again some other time as we examine how the Utah natives speak with the Utah Word of the Day. Uh, j- just remember, we always give you fair warning when those sketches come up. So you, you have plenty of time. To, you have plenty of time to tune away.